Good day, gentlemen. I'm Oliver from Togo Hobby. Let's unbox one articulating top from XPRC. This one is a fancy color, green. Let's see how it looks like. The customer's paper. This one should be with the radio. We will open later. This phone we need to cut. Well, this could be heavy. Let's lift it up. Good, very bright painting. Yeah, let's unbox the radio. So looks like the mirror, everything is already on. So we only need to put the battery and uh, fill up hydraulic oil will be able to operate it. We have already put uh, hydraulic oil from here. Here is the oil tank. This is the return line, take it out and can fill up the oil here. Okay, and the battery from the front engine cover already connected. Let's start it to see. Okay, ready on, light from the front, see the light, okay, can change, another mode, flashing, another mode, okay, also another mode, warning light, okay, this is off, and then we will turn on only. Okay, this is on. Also from back side, have the turning light and the red warning light. When engine sound, let's off, uh, start the engine sound system, then we can drive backward. Let's see the light go backward.
vocês. Pode falar. So this one got the pressure released well. So when it reaches the end, it's okay. We will not burst out the oil pipe because the pressure will be released by the pressure release well. This two cylinder is quite big one and they can lift up almost the vertical is 80 degrees maybe and so all the cargo can come out easily so when lifting up the bucket this door open automatically from the downside is secured by one wire so can only keep this position so we are open let's put it down you see From here, we will see the hose from down there coming. No, no, it's from here going to the forward engine on the engine part. The pump is there, so the oil coming to here distributes to separately two cylinder. So to lift up and coming put down same time. So down there for the steering, got we can only see the the shaft here because the cylinder is there you can see a little bit the cylinder is already also painted green so in the middle we got the bearing for this uh, uh, secure this uh, driving shaft the CVD, CVD so coming to here downside connect to the two rear side axle well the axle here you see also quite quite big and a strong one uh, anyway, it's a truck, so need to lift up heavy cargo. Have to be like this. Okay, let's see the front. Come to the front. We open the cover to see inside. Let's hand you off. Hand you off so we can hear clearly. Okay, so inside we got the pump here, motor, the receiver. Here, downside is the light sound system, the board. So the distribution will have only two channels, one for the bucket, one for steering. So on there also another ESC. We got two ESC, one for the driving, one for the pump. Another one is this side. So down here we got the pressure gauge from the discharge line and this one is the pressure release valve. Okay. So this one, the chassis down there, the plate is metal one, only this engine cover it is uh, printed plastic. Um, what's this metal or uh, this one also plastic? So on the back side, so the engine, the front head, top one is all plastic. This frame, the the this mirror, the frame also here is metal. So only from the downside, only the the chassis, the connection wood here is all metal and also very strong thick one. So the back side is all metal except these tires. Other part is all metal. Okay, so this engine top of the cabin. I will turn it around to facing the light so you can see it here. Inside the cabin, we got the driver, and uh, sorry, this door cannot open, the window also cannot open. You can see only from the window glass. Okay, the mirror you can turn it, just in the angle. Okay, so from, ah, uh, I forgot to switch on this light to show you. This one can turn in light and I can have changing different mood okay let's leave it like this 
Another one we will see is the chassis. So uh, from here you can only see from this one you see the suspension from top. This one turn it a little bit. So the suspension here we got a middle bridge here connecting two axle. So I will move it. You will see this bridge. In the middle got one pin to support. So here on the there got the rubber connections to absorb the shock. On the axle supporting by the rubber you see this black one. Okay, so I will turn it around to see from the bottom. I have hold with my body. Okay. For the junction for this articulated this turning here we see for the chassis it's turning by this junction here. Inside is a half a ball shaped one connection. Okay, so it's V type this connecting road to connect to the axles down at the rear part. So from here you also another one for the turning, the axle need to turn so Half ball shape to the junction connection. This bridge is a pin connection. Okay, this is the axle chassis. And let's see the turning angle from the head. Let's turn it. This one. So, same as we said, almost 90 degree as long as this wire's hole is not tangling too much. That's how you can turn it on the road. So imagine when you're driving on the mountain, here got a big rock. Doesn't matter, so the head can turn and drive it over. Okay, so let you start. Let the horn. Put down the bucket. Let's go to the mine and take the cargo. Point the hook, and we can put the pin here, and also some shackle from the side. Okay. This side also got a fire extinguisher. Maybe not noticed before. So that's all for this articulated swag from XDRC. This one is a painting green, looks beautiful. And also for the yellow or also the blue, whatever you can imagine, what if you have the photos, name it, send to me, I will paint it as you like. Okay, we will see each other again, thank you very much.